talent. In such a highly developed humanity as the present one, each man by nature has access to many talents. Each has inborn talent, but only a few have inherited and cultivated such a degree of toughness, endurance and energy that they really become a talent, become what they are that is, release it in works and actions. The seriousness of craft, speak not of gifts or innate talents. One can name all kinds of great men who were not very gifted, but they acquired greatness, became geniuses, as we say, through qualities about whose lack no man aware of them likes to speak. All of them had that diligent seriousness of a craftsman, learning first to form the parts perfectly before daring to make a great whole. They took time for it, because they had more pleasure in making well something little or less important than in the effect of a dazzling whole. For example, it is easy to prescribe how to become a good short story writer, but to do it presumes qualities which are habitually overlooked when one says, I don't have enough talent. Let a person make a hundred or more drafts of short stories, none longer than two pages, yet each of a clarity such that each word in it is necessary. Let him write down anecdotes each day until he learns how to find their most concise, effective form. Let him be inexhaustible in collecting and depicting human types and characters. Let him above all tell tales as often as possible, and listen to tales, with a sharp eye and ear for the effect on the audience. Let him travel like a landscape painter and costume designer. Let him excerpt from the various sciences everything that has an artistic effect if well portrayed. Finally, let him contemplate the motives for human behavior and disdain no hint of information about them and be a collector of such things day and night. In this diverse exercise, let some ten years pass and then what is created in the workshop may also be brought before the public eye. But how do most people do it? They begin not with the part, but with the whole. Perhaps they once make a good choice, excite notice, and thereafter make ever worse choices for good, natural reasons. Sometimes when reason and character are lacking to plan this kind of artistic life, fate and necessity take over their function and lead the future master step by step through all the requisites of his craft. Nietzsche, human all too human aphorism, 163.